What's up, Libra God? So this relationship reading I did a bit different. I did option one, option two, and option three. Who should I choose? One, because I did a reading on myself and I like the, I laid it out with option one, option two, and option three. So you can label each option as you please, or you can just wait to hear the reading and then make a decision on um, who you think, what option you should choose, and who aligns with that option. This is a little different. Um, I don't know if I'll do this again, but I just want to try it out. Again, this is a, well, if you are new to the channel, know that this is a general reading and you may or may not resonate with it, but if you would like a personal reading uh, to make sure, then just click the link in my description and I'll be happy to provide you with that. Um, yeah, so the overall energy of this reading is the acceptance card. We have the acceptance oracle card, chakra wisdom oracle card. We have magician and the mirror energy oracle and we have the five of pentacles well what is it saying this is it saying accept your power accept that you have the power to choose whoever you want to be with what whoever you choose once you accept your power and you walk in your power and confidence whoever you choose the magician is going to bless you with so it's your choice essentially you have the power to choose who you want to be with. With these divine masculine, divine feminine, swift lane reading, sometimes we lose the fact and idea and, you know, the reality that you have the power to choose who you want to be with in your life. Free will is not taken away when it becomes to divine partnerships or anything. You have the power to choose. And anyway, once you accept your power, your individual power, um, and strength and ability to choose whoever you want to be with, know that the magician is right there to bless you with whatever it is that you desire. But there is restrictions. You can't have everybody. I mean, it wouldn't be nice to have everybody. That would end in heartbreak. So it's, a, um, it's loss associated with it. If you choose option one, then option two and option three, move on to someone who chooses them so it's just saying it's a level of you know it's a you know it's loss and a, a mindset as it pertains to it but know that you have to rid yourself of that loss and lack mindset because whoever you choose trumps anyone else that you would have chosen you know this is who you want to be, be with who this is who you desire and um you can't really worry about what you lost because what you gained is so much more Libra God, this first combination <laughs> is so dope. So this is about a relationship from the past. But the attachment card, you see how she's chained? This is someone from the past that it, it's, it's time to let go. It says there's a perceived need and a choice to let go. In this position, you are being stopped from moving forward because of people in the past and the fear um, from past. You have fear about the past or letting fear of missing out or something like that from letting go of the past. Or you could be desperate about the future. But I believe this is about you being, you're holding on to someone, someone or something from the past and it's preventing you from moving forward. And it's time to let go. It's time for you to trust spirit and let go. Um, with this two of swords is the moon. You see that moon in the background. It's like not a feeling of uncertainty and not knowing what to do, but not making a choice because you just don't know. But it's time for you, whoever you chose for option number one, it's time to let go of that person from your past because what's done is done with the impasse card. The impasse just adds that, you know, what happened happened and this person was meant for your path, but they were not meant for your future. You're supposed to grow from it and learn from it and do better next time, not continuously hold on to it because you have the fear of missing out or you have the fear of the future. It's time to let go of option number one. This is someone from your past. Uh, it says you have the power to change direction for the better. Things will change. Go where you are led for now. So it's time for you to make that decision to let go of whoever this is that you're attached to from the past, your karmic partner, your karmic soulmate, and move forward to something that's better. Again, you were supposed to learn from them. Yes, you were supposed to love them. Yes, it's heartbreak associated with it. 
but don't be afraid of it. It's only going to make you stronger and lead you towards the person that you were created to be with. Relax. Like, you know, sometimes we hold on to these people for years and years, and then finally we gain the strength to let go, and like, I should have done that a long time ago. Well, you have the choice to make, you have the chance to make that choice for the better now. You have the chance to move forward to a better option. Okay, so now we're on option two. This is, I love this reading, it's so juicy. So option two is goddess of the moon, coupled with destiny, seven of pentacles, eight of swords. This is your divine partner. You're, you have a spiritual connection. This is destiny. This is your twin flame. This is the yin to your yang, the yang to your yin. This is the person you were created to be with as a divine partner. Because all of these people are in your path, obviously. But this is your divine partner. You have a spiritual connection with this person. You could you could already be in the spiritual room with this person, energetically connected, spiritually connected. But you can't see this option number two. You can't see this person for who they are to you because you're so freaking, you're, you're still trapped. You're still trapped by option one. People don't understand. You have the, you don't have to choose one person and that's just who you choose. You have the power to choose again. It's not the end of the world if you're not with the first person you chose. If you're not with your your ex-husband or wife or whoever it is or the person you, you had kids with. Tradition and society teaches us that's horrible. I understand. I really get it. I honestly, I get it because I let society pressure me into getting married at a certain by a certain age and having being with the person. Everybody wants to be with their the person that they have kids with at first. But then you realize what's best for you is also best for your children. It's best for everyone involved. It's best for everyone involved to be with their divine partner. It's best for everyone involved for their individual lives to be happy and fulfilled and satisfied. If you sacrifice, why sacrifice your, your satisfaction and your fulfillment? You're important too. Your kids are not just important. You are also important. In fact, I preach that you are number one in your life. Not your kids, not your husband, not your wife. You are number one in your life and you have to make sure that you are fulfilled and filled and taken care of so that you can be the person, you can be the best version of yourselves from them. Because if you continue to ignore your needs, if you continue to ignore yourself, you're not the best version of yourself. You are low, a lower version of yourself and therefore you're lowering their vibrations anyway and you're learning you're lowering their lives by not being the best version of yourself so in order to be that best version of yourself you have to sometimes put yourself first and understand and fulfill your needs but anyway you can't see this second option as the divine partner he or she is because you're so attached to societal traditions you're so attached to what people think you're so attached to this first person that is really, their time is up. It's time to move forward, but you're too attached to them. And you can't see that you were created to be with this first person. I mean, to the second per option. You were created to build with them. You were created, you're, spin you're spiritually and energetically connected to the second person because it's destiny. Because you're twin flames. This is your divine partner. And you're supposed to build together and build a legacy and work and accomplish the missions that you two together can only accomplish. But in order to get there, you have to remove yourself from this unhealthy attachment, this unhealthy codependency that you have on option number one. Okay, so option number three very interesting. These readings are so juicy, guys. I just love how juicy this reading is. And I just want to say it verbatim. It says, a man holding a coin. Now, this can be a female, too. But this is somebody from work. It says, this, this card could also signify a love interest with a wealthy man or woman from work. Or just someone who is very wealthy. And it is coupled with... 
the workaholic card, clarifying that this is somebody from work. And the page of swords, clarifying this is somebody that you have, that you communicate with. You could be passionate about this person or this person can be a passionate, energetic person. You like their energy. You guys could share ideas and thoughts and I get work-related ideas and thoughts. And you could just be intrigued by this person because they're smart, they're witty, they're energetic. Um, you communicate with them on a daily basis at work and you like their ideas. Look at him. He's so charismatic on this. I mean, he's appealing. Look at his face. It's like this person is appealing to you. This person is, you just like this person. You're infatuated with this person from work. So this is option three. You can choose option three as well. But it doesn't show anything outside of that. It's just, if there's like, for option number two, that was chemistry associated with that. That was destiny. That was building. That was... That was a, a purpose in option number two. Option number one was a soul karmic partnership. So you you share a family with them or you share something with them. Um, you share an attachment to them or growing up with them. But option number three is like you may not have the soul connection or the, the, you know, the divine connection like you do in option two and the soul partnership that you have with option number one. But you're still intrigued by this person. You know, they, they catch your eye. It's like, it's almost, it's like lustful almost. It's like you work with them. They have money. You may have money too, but it's like, you like this person. You know, you, you like their energy. You like their ideas. You like how they communicate. So anyway, that's an option for you. If you want to choose the person from your job, that's certainly an option for you. But that's all that there is no more to it i don't know do you want more than that because with option number three is just that's it it's just like that's it you get no more from them but you know they are a great person you like them you can see yourself with them but it's like there's no more to it outside of the money outside of the work that's just it Maybe outside of the work setting and outside of financially, they aren't so intrigued. intriguing. Who knows? But anyway, there's option one, there's option two, there's option three. If you don't mind, click the link in my bio. No, click the comments and let me know which one you choose. If it was me, Lib Libra God, I would choose number... I'm going to choose my divine partner that's just who i am i would rather be with the person that i was created to be with to build with for a legacy for purpose you know but at the same time i know it can be hard to really like somebody to really connect with somebody like option number three and want and just be intrigued and want to see what they're about i understand that and i also understand being attached to option number one and I didn't want to let go because I've been there before too, but I, I gained the strength I needed to move forward. And it still can be hard to this day because you still have a love for that person. And if they try to re-enter your life, it's like, you know, you don't want to let that person down. But at the same time, you have to do what's best for you. And you have to put yourself first and figure out what's best for you. And know that whoever you choose, you get to be with. You're the maggots. You're the magician. You have the power in your hands. So remain confident, remain confident in your power and your ability to be with whoever you want to be with and choose the one that's best for you. I wish you love, I wish you light, I wish you more life. If you want a private reading, click the link in my description, order the Master Manifesto Toolkit in like two days, it will be released, the full copy, and it's going up double the price. Well, it's not really double the price, it's half off right now. So take advantage of that if you would like to learn how to manifest anything you want. I, again, I wish you love and light. Peace. I've manifested full payment of all 106,000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested 
connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I've manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created. So many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow. Peace.